<laughs> Here we are, we're at Status Era. Um, guys, hello. It's Hi. amazing to be with you. I know you to, like hello. Do, we, <laughs> do we embrace? Uh, oh, we had many hugs before. Do we Glasgow yeah. kiss? Uh, well, because what is a Glasgow kiss? I don't know what it's, one is. I'm far too English to explain that with this accent. Is so. it rude? <laughs> no, it's pretty much instead of kissing with these, you just oh right. Kiss okay. with them. Okay. Like okay. Yeah. We're not going to Glasgow no. kiss. Maybe at the end. <laughs> <laughs> we might do that at the end. And um, thank you. It's been it's a great honour to have invited ourselves here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> to, uh, <laughs> I didn't actually know they were coming. They basically, got me out of bed. Literally, just go back, go out to a dinner party. <laughs> <laughs> Car was started, everything was ready, yeah. and we had just turned up. Exactly. Um, but thanks for on Thursday night. Thanks for having us. It's Thursday night. Yes. We're live. It's Mission <laughs> Control. Uh, live, not live. Um, just we had to kind of edit it because of um, Gianni's constant swearing. Oh, yeah, it's, it's um, brutal. Yeah, it's going to be yeah. absolutely brutal. <laughs> um, yeah, but we've we've come up. Dressed yeah. correctly. Apart from uh, that. I'm sorry, Apart yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this guy? No, you, ne you never wear <laughs> the band t shirt to the band, you know, to the concert. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the true. problem. Yeah. So I was yeah. trying to yeah. I was trying to think like that, you know. Um, so I was gonna say, Can you can you <laughs> sign <laughs> Yes. Can you sign my shirt? <laughs> I would love to draw something, but I don't think uh, <laughs> it would go down well. Yeah. Can I actually say it? I don't really yeah. want to ruin my actually, t-shirt. Actually, yeah, 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 no, you're right. No, you're right. Um, it's a washable crayon. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. So we'll do it with a washable crayon because the, I don't know if the crayon's washable or if what it the marker makes. If the crayon, I think that's a wiser really? choice in the sharpie. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been so much better if it was your naked body like, <laughs> for the female viewers. <laughs> I actually feel it just. Oh, it's not even working. <laughs> I want to make this, these two lovely stains into a nice face. <laughs> Is that sore? I'm sorry. No, I don't want to like rest. Thing you have to do with this. Oh, well, Here we go. Here we go. My artistic. Breathe in. I don't know if the camera can see the two coffee stains. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what it is, it's James's erratic driving. Yeah, yeah. I'm just pretending that's my signature. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost Breathe like in. Hangman. You yeah. got a G. That's so there's two other letters. I mean, that is a custom. Swirling. That's custom. That mm. is. Until Definitely you wash something. it, it'll yeah. make no sense. 20 years' <laughs> time, that will be worth a fortune. <laughs> <laughs> it's going yeah. straight on eBay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, right, so we're here um, primarily um, because of our Formula G TV show. It's round four from Santa Pod, uh, which is the USC uh, round. And uh, as is customary, we're going to talk to Nigel. Is that all right if we bring Nigel into the mix? Sounds is awesome. That, is that okay? Always good to me. Come Stop. on, Nigel. It's Nigel. Oh, oh. Hey. Oh. 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 Hi, yeah. hey, Nigel. Hey, you guys. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, oh, what? Oh, oh, he's back. Oh. He's back. Oh. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Yes. 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 We'll just assume you're not driving your car, though. <laughs> For legal purposes, <laughs> yeah. I, I have to inform you this is being recorded. Excellent. I'm not driving. <laughs> okay. Someone, however, may be holding the phone for me. And <laughs> 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 that looks so busy wherever he is. Wow. Yeah. That looks so no. busy to be on, to be on <laughs> Skype call. <laughs> are, you, are you driving to South Africa? Because I've hair gel, so I need to go to Sainsbury's to get some hair products so that I look my best out there. Yeah, they definitely don't have hair products in South Africa. <laughs> Not your specialist variety, anyway. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. So, so thanks for letting us talk to you whilst you're uh, you clearly stopped everything for us, which is brilliant. <laughs> Driving down the road. Had you have been about twenty minutes ago? By my ankle and doing the do. So, uh, oh wow! Oh wow! <laughs> That's a beautiful insight into uh, the life of uh, Nigel. Uh, rock and roll, MP, 2018. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you did have a certain glow around you, so that, that explains everything. Uh, that's the Johnson's baby cream. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, down to business. It's round four of uh, Fueltopia. We're at USC. Yes. Good one? 
Savage. Really? Um, and the event. Yes, of course, yes. Yes, USC has a specific clientele, as we all know. <laughs> uh, it was actually a really, really good event. I did enjoy it. The crowds there were very diverse as normal, um, but actually everyone behaved themselves, um, and it was it was really, really good fun. Um, I know a lot of our drivers uh, particularly enjoyed having the larger crowds. Not, not quite so as atmospheric, I'd say, as Coventry, but still very very good you know indeed yeah. yeah indeed it was and we got to see a couple of different faces up at the top uh, it was great to see Craigie in the top four yeah do you know he drove his heart out all weekend he's such a good guy and he's such a gem um, and he's really good to see the the new guys as well he is, yeah. So we're going to see him in uh, in part two of the show. Now it looks like you're at Sainsbury's. <laughs> I am literally. I'm just deciding whether I'm a big enough child that I could park in the parent and child. Oh, oh, oh no! You see, there's some parents watching yeah. you right now, going, "You can't do that." <laughs> is he? <it> <laughs> <laughs> he just did. I'm actually parked in a relevant space, so it's absolutely fine. Okay, okay. All right, Nige, um, we'll, we'll let you get on with the Nige. shopping for the hair products. I'm in. Look, I've even got a light now. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I actually had my hair cut today. Do you want to have a look? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Wow. Nice. South Africa oh, ready. <laughs> Right, so look, if it is at all possible, there are some hair on the floor, not the grey ones, but some of you wouldn't mind just dealing with the bit at the back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slight issue. Um, I think it's the barber. It's a little bit too much. Bit heavy handed. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, oh, Johnny, lovely to see you as always. Thank Hi, you. Nigel. Yeah. Look, Dan. Um, did you give him what I told you to give him? Um, you pardon? Oh, the Glasgow kiss. Or the hug? Yeah, buddy! <laughs> <laughs> we have done the hugs and it was from you. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and, um, it's been always a pleasure. Nice. Lovely to see you as well. Nice to see you, Nigel. See you, Nigel. Bye, Nigel. See you, Nigel. Be well. <laughs> Sleep well. <laughs> be well, is it? Oh, he said be, be well. well. <laughs> he's, he's still there. He's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you can't get rid of him. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> oh wow! Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. Oh. That, was, that was eventful. Oh, I was exhausting. <laughs> I think he's a little bit stir crazy because he's off to South Africa tomorrow. Isn't yeah, he? he had to so say so uh, excited. He had to have a special goodbye, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. with yeah. the good lady. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> thanks for that insight, Nigel. Oh wow! Um, so yeah, coming up, these guys obviously have welcomed us onto their territory. So we have a uh, leading motorsport photographer. We have a... Yeah, you've done well, Johnny. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All from and, uh, my phone. Yeah. And uh, some great motorsport illustrations as well from, oh, from Daniel. Um, with his uh, With his extra sketch. Oh, yeah, I was very good at that. Yeah, your sketch. <laughs> <laughs> it takes time, but it's worth it. The end. So we go, what a year it's been. And there's still two rounds to go. We are about to get into round four. And there's still round five as well, which we're going to bring to you next month live from an undisclosed location. Ooh. But we're in Scotland in East Kilbride. And we're about to get into part one. It's at USC, as we've said. You guys ever been to USC? Oh, yeah. Anything about yeah, USC? Many yeah. times, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that. You came I to that came, one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was an yeah. experience. Love it. Yeah. yeah. It's, the, oh, it's always, from, from my memory of it, as being part of the Fuels OP team, and it was always one of the most crowd. So it was always amazing, yeah, right? Yeah, the buzzing yeah. one. But yeah. yeah, the crowd is pretty special. Mm, yeah, it's quite special. A, it's pretty a special. variation <laughs> of different makes and models of cars and, <laughs> and people. Can yeah. I tell you my. <laughs> One memory of it. Though. Yeah, yeah. When I think I got heat stroke. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. I drive home. Okay. Yeah. I was in a Fiesta with two doors, and I was in the back. Yeah. And the two guys in the front were smoking, and I was literally sitting with a bag yeah. in the back, <laughs> shivering. So sick. Yeah. Yeah. For five hours. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. And and that I was literally, your... it started with a sore head. <laughs> um, that was your USC experience. Yep. Yeah. That's Solid. Mm. So next year, same time. <laughs> 
There we go. Well, it's time for your USC experience now. We hope it doesn't have the same effect on you <laughs> as it did Gianni. Um, let's get with part one. TTV Racing, sponsors of the Formula G Show. A launch off the line. The pressure you can see building from these two as they go through. Let's see it. Send them. And we're green. Wow, that is close. Welcome Jim Carner fans, it's round four, the penultimate heat of the UK's head-to-head -head racing series, Formula G, and the championship is hotting up, as is the weather, and to add to the pressure, drivers are facing one of the tightest, fastest layouts yet. Enjoying part one? Yeah, it looks, part one is great. The track's nice and tight and twisty, uh, the car is performing brilliantly on this track, so looking for good results today. Do you even get out of first gear on this track? Se uh, second gear pull off, stay in second gear all the way. Oh, do you? Yeah. Today I'm first gear all the way. First all the way, yeah, first all the way, there's no second gear. The straight, you're pinning it in first, there's no point going to second, uh, but yeah, it's all, all in first. Go hard or go home. Well, we're all planning to go hard and then go home, because this is USC set at the eponymous Santa Pod Raceway, and we find ourselves with a tricky landscape layout as we pass over the stop box and wait at the start line. And when the light hits green, it's a short shoot into a right-hander across the diagonal straight into barrel number two, through the flags, and then left round the cone into a hairpin turn back across to cone number two, once round and back to the first barrel. Finally, at this point, you can see whether your opponent is ahead or behind, Blast it into the stop box. Careful not to overshoot or it's a DNF. Hit any obstacle and you'll get a two second penalty. Once finished, swap sides and do it all again. And the fastest combined time takes the win. So without further ado, let's get into the front wheel drive top battles brought to you by TTV Racing and Andy Lewin waits, ready to take on the winner out of Ashley Roberts and Richard Tickner. And to talk us through the action, Nigel Pope. White lights, yellows, and we're green. Straight up, faster launch, I think, there from Tickner. Going into the first barrel now. Pretty neck and neck. What I can see here, this cone is where it split us last time. Ashley's got the head on him. Are you round those rust slip tires? Straight back into a flick round the chains. Ashley's definitely got the lead here. The upper hand going into the 540 at the end. Tickner seems to be making space, but it's um, it's not quite fast enough, I don't think, as Ashley stops in the box. Plenty of time to spare. Clean runs from both, though. So to make it through to the final, Richard would need to beat Ashley by over three and a half seconds. The green. Tickner faster off the launch, but didn't seem to get the grip down. Ashley's pulling away from him now, into the first barrel. Although Tickner seems to have got it back, just a lot of spinning at the front there. No, Ashley there has definitely got it back. Coming round into the rust slip tires for that first U turn. Straight round the chain now. Back up the top, round that cone. Bosh. Good runs from both. 540 here. And a stop in the box. And with a win on both sides, Ashley is through to the final, while Richard takes P3. Back to Nigel. We're green. A launch to that first barrel. And he really picking up the pace after that barrel. Throws it tidy around the first chicane there to thread the needle through the rust slip tires. Tight around the cone and back for the rust slip tire second time now. 
So much speed coming out of that Micra. Ashley in the Civic really picking up pace now, but just not enough this late on in the track. 540's won or lost here. Clean stop in the box, Andy. Not far behind from Ashley there, just a bit more grip needed, I think, between some of those obstacles. drive. Clean launches from both. Neck and neck into that first barrel, but this launch here breaks it. And he's first to that barrel. Ashley's not far behind, bit more tail skippy. Straight up round the cone, tidy from both. Russ slip into change now. Very nice U-turn there. And he's got the pace on him. But actually all the time keeping it tight. 540 here. Going to need to really pick it up, Ash, if you want to pull it back. It's a start from Andy and a clean start from Ashley. Well, Andy Lewin's dominance continues with a massive win in round four. And we've no time to catch our breath as we move to all-wheel drive. Brought to you by Scooby Clinic Racing. And it's an all Scooby final battle with Dimitri and Bucky slugging it out for the Formula G all-wheel drive throw. This is your all-wheel drive final. Jonathan Buck, Dimitri Shribney. The lights go green. I think Bucky had the launch on him there. Let's see how he handles the extra half a second I reckon he had there. Dimitri certainly pulled it back, threading the needle. Looks like they're neck and neck round, the, round that first cone up there. Yes. Now into the pivots round to the chain section. It's neck and neck into the 540. Let's see how they handle it. Both tight round there. Dimitri got the tighter line, but I think Bucky got the grip coming out. Both stop in the box. Too close for me to call that one. Really thrown down the grip though on that second section, Dimitri did. Thread the needle, I think Bucky's got the edge on him just so, going into the cone. Can all change here in this U section. Neck and neck just as now. And I think Dimitri might have got him just into the chain section. By 40. Neck and neck into the first rotation. Out for the second, Bucky's got it slightly. Can we get it? Oh, it's so close. Oh, wouldn't like to call that one. Dimitri, first place today. How's the car handled it today? Uh, difficult because it had a new engine. So, and I think, you know, with a better and stronger engine which Kubi Clinic have built, it took the deserved first place. It's a completely different beast now, as I've seen it grow over the season. You must be so happy with how it turned out. Oh yes, that's uh, indeed very, very true. I mean, like today, I'm uh, not even flat out because it's so aggressive and. Uh, slight fraction of the throttle pedal going down and it's not behaving itself the, want, the way I want it. It's just too crazy, you know? I thought I had him. I don't know what happened there. I thought that my run, I could see that I was quicker on the first run. Um, I could see him coming into the box after me. Um, and I thought, just make sure it's tight on the second one. I thought we entered the box at the same time, meaning my first run was probably quicker, but 0.2 of a second. Um, I'm, I'm genuinely, genuinely gutted that I am on that. Hard luck, Bucky. It's You One Time Now, brought to you by TTV Racing. And with Andrew Beddle smashing qualifying, it's up to Nick or Mark. So, Nick in the grey now, Mark in the yellow. This is us, semi-finals, or U1 class. We're racing! Both clean launches off the line and pretty neck and neck to that first barrel. Second barrel taken clean from both also. Taken up to the cone, looks like Mark's got the edge on it at the moment. A little bit tail happy on that first cone. I think Nick's taking the advantage of that, coming into the chain. Both, both neck and neck again. Into the barrel, 540. 
White wide line for both cars. Nick in the box first. Both clean stops from Nick and Mark. On the left lane, yellow Mark. Right lane, grey of Nick, and they're racing. First barrel clean launches into the second barrel now. Pretty neck and neck. Mark seems to take him a lot more heat than Nick, though. Thread the needle through the rust of tyres and a clean spin back round again. This is, this is tight racing from both. Super clean. A little bit more spin up on uh, Mark there. A bit more grip from Nick. 5.40 now. Neck and neck as they launch into the box. I think Nick may have just got him to the box there, but that was exciting stuff. That's right, Nigel. Nick just takes the win by less than a second on each side. So once again, we have a Biddle v Biddle battle for the top spot. Stay tuned to find out which of the brothers reigns supreme. TTV Racing, sponsors of the Formula G Show. That was part one of uh, Formula G <laughs> at Santa Pod. Um, uh, we've got part two still to come. Uh, thanks to TTV Racing that sponsored that coverage. And we're still here at Status Era Towers with Daniel Fijant and Gianni, can't pronounce his second name. Smith. <laughs> 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 Mr. Smith, yes. uh, Alan's here. Um, we're waiting for a special caller to come in. Uh, we usually try and talk to the winner of a particular race, and uh, we couldn't get Dimitri, so uh, we're trying to get the loser on the line. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's not working out. So, um, what I will say is um, if you could share this right now, you'd be really <laughs> oh. doing us a favour. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm here, just about. Are you alright? I'm alright, are you? Can you see me now? Hello? Yeah, we yeah, can see you. <laughs> Yay. I expected you to be like um, in the in the montage scenes in Rocky, you know where the guy's running up the stairs, well Rocky, he's running up the stairs, there's a car <laughs> driving after him, he's dragging a tyre behind him. Your montage right. sequence building up to Jim Connor Grid is what I'm what I'm thinking. Is that what your day's been like? Uh, uh, no, um, I'm no. currently sat in my mum's bedroom. <laughs> Very similar to our previous caller. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, no. No, sorry. No. Anyway. So. So yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> what I'm doing? Um, I'm about to have um, tea. <laughs> no, no, no gravy. No gravy. <laughs> okay. no, no gravy. We're, we're having we're having curry tonight. <laughs> Is that to get you acclimatised for South Africa? Uh, well, I should be having salad because I put eight pound on since I went to Vegas, so wow. I can't fit in my race suit anymore. But that's not ideal, is it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's get the bad stuff out of the way. We're talking about USC, round four of uh, Formula G. I've never seen you yeah. that disappointed before. Um, yeah, genuinely, looking back to it now, um, people must be thinking, watching it, the guy's just won the championship. Why does he look like he's going to cry? Um, but yeah, I genuinely thought I'd beat him in that race. Um, so much <laughs> so that on the first run that I sort of, I, was, I thought I was far enough into the box in front of him on the first run, so didn't really push into the box on the second run. Whereas if I'd have pushed and braked later, there were not point two seconds in it, mm. I feel even afterwards now I should have still beaten him. Mm. Not taking anything away from Dimitri, but should have beaten him. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're going to have a rerun <laughs> in uh, two weeks, aren't you? Um, At Jim Connor Grid? Well, potentially, yeah. Um, but, you know, I beat him all season, so why is two weeks time going to be a different <laughs> 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 Did I just say that? Did I just say that? I'm like, uh, <laughs> sorry to be too, I don't mean it. Give us an idea of your mindset, though, at the moment. Um, not really been thinking 
thinking about it, to be honest. Okay. Really, really chilled out, really calm. Um, calmer, more confident than I've ever been. Every year I've, that I've ever competed in anything, um, whether it be Formula G, Battle Sprint, um, Jim Carter Grid, I've always been quite nervous and not really, always sort of thinking, oh, yeah, you know, that guy's not really beatable or Dimitri's got it or whatever. And this year I just think, oh, it's mine. Not, not, not in like an arrogant way, but like it just, everything felt right all season. Cool. Um, the car felt great. My attitude were good. Um, and all through the season, it just all seemed to fall into place. Um, and again, now I feel like even with the issue that I had with the car uh, the last round, um, it's been sorted and fingers crossed, everything should be fine. And if it is, I'm in a good place, the car's in a good place. So, you know, should be all good. Yeah. It's been a great year for Scooby Clinic Racing uh, in that we've had one driver that's been consistently winning all the time and one very strong driver that's been constantly developing something new and quite daring. Yeah, I mean, big credit to Scooby Clinic. The the cars, what they do, they know what they're doing um, when it comes to Subarus, you know, and it's a one-stop shop. So whether it's set-up, mapping, engine building, suspension set up whatever it may be it's all in house and they can do everything which is why i'm so pleased with them being my main sponsor and as dimitri has been for many years before me um they, they know what they're doing and it proves when they've got both the cars are at the top of the pile mm. it's been a great year for scuba clinic as i say let's have a look at their end of year roundup now off the track, rivals on the track, Bucky's got the launch on him. The car has been perfect all weekend. Massive, massive, massive shout out to Scuba Clinic. Jonathan Buck first into the barrel there. Freestyle 360. Dimitri really romping it now, taking full advantage. Kick the back out. And a stop in the box. Double spin round this barrel. Dimitri! Dimitri feeds on the pressure. It's not just my victory, it's victory, I think, for everyone in my team. I'm not sure they can put that on TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dimitri, uh, Dimitri, Bucky, we're going to let you go off and get your curry. Sound, that's going to be nice for me. It Hold is. Another couple of pounds. Yeah. <laughs> better, uh, better go for a jog tomorrow. I think you ought to do a bit of like montage action before you go out. Is that right? I'll, I'll put something together especially for you guys. Yeah, that'd be good actually. <laughs> yeah, training montage <laughs> sequence. That'd be That's good. It. With you doing sit-ups with the kids sat on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I can't do sit-ups. I can do press-ups. I with sit-ups. It's the belly. It's <laughs> cool. Enjoy your evening. Yeah, you guys too. Cheers. Good luck. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Good luck, Bucky. See ya. See ya. How do I get rid of him? <laughs> <laughs> Still there. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Okay, so there's a big kind of thing around automotive illustration, isn't there? 
I mean, there is for you, but I yeah. mean, there is like there's it's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah. Like um, car pictures of like drawings, paintings of cars, and everyone's got a t-shirt, and mm -hmm. you know, obviously, mm -hmm. hopefully, a lot of the time they're state Sarah t-shirts. Yeah. But we're huge fans of that, and it's great to be in front of you two guys because you've got you know a guy that knows lifestyle brand motorsport kind of thing and we've got a guy with an eye photography so we're here to get so some what feedback. what am I here for then? <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <laughs> this is you what you're here for. Yeah. Right. Just wait a second. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so what oh, we wanted no. to do <laughs> is get some feedback from you. Oh wow, oh, okay. Right. So yeah, yeah. Uh, come out, <laughs> you put your hand in and twist it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, so... Right. I'm intrigued. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so what's happening here, right? Oh. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. I'll take that off. <laughs> <laughs> so we've done some. Uh, we've done some. The team. Or, or the everyone on the team. Everyone has on the done team. Automotive illustration. Okay. Wow. wow. Who's done and, that one? Uh, that's pretty cool. We wanted to firstly get some feedback on them. That's your. That's your MR2, Joey. Nice. That's your, that's your, okay. And see if you can guess who's uh, who's behind them as well. Oh, so, right. Can we see so. all of them first? No, no. no. Well, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> right. So we have to just <laughs> insult someone straight away, right. Okay. Um, that. There's a lot of hard work so, going to that. So, so this is, this is, I mean, they've gone for the pencil yeah. and then the pen afterwards. I like it because they've given them a sun strip as well, by the looks of it. They're pretty trendy. Yeah. They've yeah. got, you know, the yeah. Gandalf mirrors. Is it Gond Gandalf? Gandalf? Is that Lord of yeah, the Rings? Gandalf, yeah. Gandalf, yeah. <laughs> Gandalf, Gandalf mirrors. Gandalf mirrors. Thou yeah. shall not pass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've got a little bit of, a little bit of lock going on as well. Yeah. So yeah. is he driving or yes. is that static? What's the story here? What's the story? I'm trying to figure out what it is. It's got like this S15 front yeah. end and then it's got the, the Ferrari, Ferrari yeah. the 355 rear. And the, yeah. the fitment's good yeah. at the rear. Yeah, the fitment's mad. Yeah. But I just, yeah, I mean, if it's rolling, cool shot. But if it's static, the wheel's pointing the wrong way. The front um, wheel. Ooh, okay. I think it's, it's got the, the movement. You can see the movement. Oh, okay. okay. This, is, well, this is coming yeah. towards us okay, yeah, yeah. in some kind of uncontrollable so, slide. Yeah, yeah. 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 Awesome. I feel like every time... <laughs> Someone say something bad, you look at Frank. Yeah, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, <laughs> I'm this, gonna is gonna Frank say this is Frank. Frank. <laughs> I thought that as well, definitely. Frank, yeah. is it is it moving or is it static? Meant to be static. Uh, it's very oh, good though. Yeah, it's really good. Oh, actually, can I take a photo? I mean, you might. Well, we thought you'd put them on the wall. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They can go well, in the VR room. for the next design. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't have any copyright on that, do you? <laughs> we, might have, we, might have, we might have peaked early here. Okay. Oh, 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 wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, this, is, this is a kind of uh, rat rod type so affair, maybe? Now we've got some kind of height. We're, we're quite high up looking yeah. down at this. Right? Yes. Okay. Oh, the angle. Yeah. yeah. The angle's different now. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, cool. A little bit like Gianni's new. New ride. I like it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. very, very uh, Honda CRV. <laughs> yeah. very and again, the artist has gone for just biro. I like the side pipes coming up there for behind the front, uh, behind the wheel arch. That's pretty awesome. Yes. And you've got some kind of like vents uh, for into the rear door section for. Which is pretty cool. That's uh, that's awesome. It's bit bit of hunicorn. My favourite thing hunicorn. is the front grills don't line up. <laughs> that's probably my favourite. Is you got the two one grill lower, so I really like that. Yeah. It's awesome. I like the, the, the perception on the wheels is yeah. I think <laughs> an alignment <laughs> might be needed for that. I like that. The spoiler makes it though. Yeah. It's definitely. Yeah. 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 So uh, I'm trying not to look at anyone. <laughs> anybody in particular. I'm guessing that's Alan. <laughs> 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 I think yeah, the eye contact okay. between you is. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say that's Alan's. Okay, that's Alan's. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You're the trickiest. <laughs> oh, wow. What uh, way around is, it, is this the front? Is that the front? <laughs> <laughs> the door. Are they, the, are they those suicide It's like twin suicide. Yeah. They yeah. both like. They both wow. Are, that's amazing. Who's so. driving it? Um, there's no so it's a very futuristic <laughs> car self-driving perhaps there's no reverse you just get in yeah. whichever way you want yeah, to yeah, go yeah. and get in the right door <laughs> yeah. I'm going to I'm going to guess that's um that's yours Matt is it not yeah. <laughs> no, it's, no it's James's is that James's? James's amazing that's awesome awesome <laughs> well done James let's talk uh, as well oh, oh, oh wow oh okay. there's a lot of oh, there's a lot going on here uh, we, we got oh. a Scotsman in the bottom <laughs> yeah. right Wow. What is what so is what's happening at the Is that a big ear? Uh, that or is that his arm? He's, he's leaning on his hands. He's sunbathing. Yeah, he's sunbathing. With, oh, his, yeah. with, with his kilt on. <laughs> with a kilt on. Hang on, what else have we got here? I see the... the you are the stereotypes. The, the, yeah, the... the battered bar, Mars, bar. Mars bar. The Mars bar and this, these are Brussels sprouts. Oh, is that what they are? Really? That's a carrot. Yeah, that financial mistake there on the, yeah. on the back, yeah? Yeah. Uh, daily. Is that, again, which direction is that going in? 
<laughs> well, there's, there's <laughs> yes. one way. Oh, sorry, yeah. mate, is, that, is that that? Is going that way? Because the sign's like way? facing this is way, so you could be going either. Depends which way you see it. Mounted your carrot. Is that a cat oh, riding on a rainbow? Oh, oh that's that neon obviously. cat. Neon yeah, cat. Obviously. Yeah, not yeah. neon cat. It looks yeah, very much like meow. Is that an owl getting with a snake? The 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 snake is actually in a child's potty. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's licking jam off the owl, owl's cheek and the owl's wearing a party hat. This is definitely Matt's show. Oh. There's a pineapple and a peanut on the road. I like a it what? though because it's, peanut. it's, peanut. it's yeah. like yeah. a it's like a slow pan, you know, like a photography slow pan. Yes. Yeah. Like you've yeah. caught yeah. the action, you've got yeah. motion. It's actually, it's full of action. There's a lot going what? on. Here we've got What's an that, ice, ice skating boot with a skateboard with a roller skate with a, is that what that is? With a, with a, a guitar. guitar in the roller skate boot oh. and then there's a dog bowl on top. Okay, cool. There's a lot I understand here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a lot. <laughs> and the sun's having a great day. The sun's having the sun's, a great day. The sun's yeah. got sunglasses it's on. Yeah. Yeah. It's so sunny. Surely that doesn't work. <laughs> what, he wouldn't be looking at the sun? No. no. So why, why would he be wearing sunglasses? Is there somebody holding a mirror in front of him? Like yeah. This? I think this is a result of those tablets you bought. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely you know, maths. from that strange guy. Yeah. 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 It's amazing. So there's oh, that, that's that one. Fun. I yeah. will actually keep that one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I'll, I'll keep them all. What actually, I was like... going to say is if 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 you <laughs> if you had to make one into a t-shirt, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this one? No, I think I would have this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And yeah. I'd, I'd have like this would be on the back. This would be like the breast print. We'd just yeah. say like one way. So yeah. people would be like, oh, cool. I wonder what's in the back. Yeah. And then <laughs> they see that. Like oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Probably, uh, probably throw yeah. a bit of colour in there as well. Yeah, yeah, get some yeah, lime greens and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I think green, the colours yeah. in your imagination. Pinks and greens yeah, and stuff. It. To be honest, and also because I've got this kind of, I work with brands, you know. Oh, of course. I, 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 I so. kind of can I can channel a brand <laughs> yeah. and I know what a brand's about very quickly, <laughs> and so I know that one thing we haven't got in all of this is video games. No. So I was, my Ooh. other proposal would maybe be. <laughs> oh, amazing! Could be that. That's, yeah, that's quite a cool Fantastic. T-shirt. Yeah. yeah. You never I don't know if it goes that, that way or that. Or <coughs> no, I just got this off Google Images. Yeah. Oh yeah. I feel that if you got like a, a wooden like a pencil here and there and like rolled it up, you could nice. almost make a game like. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Where you just roll the pencil and it looks like the car drawing. Yeah, I like it. In all seriousness, though. Oh wait, there's seriousness. <laughs> there? There's nothing serious about any of this. <laughs> like. Um. Are people making the cars look more like the drawings? Is 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 there a is there a? Uh, do you know what I mean? No, like, no. People uh, are yeah, modifying cars really to look like. There's yeah. a lot of digital artists out there. Yeah. Um, and in fact, can I show you something? Yeah. Is, can I come up? Yeah. Off oh, yeah. 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 Gonna get I've off actually back. got something. Yeah, you have it. That um, is awesome. Um, we'll talk amongst themselves. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. It's pretty big. This but is I think awesome. it's pretty much what you mean, like. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it. Yes. Got it. Yeah. So this was done by Yasid Design. Oh, oh. Sorry. That's, just, that's fine. Yeah. And it's your okay. old so, nine four four. Yeah. Mm. This is. There's a lot of this happening just now, and people are starting to replicate the sort of digital art. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this was based on my. Well, this is an extreme version of. I used to have a Porsche nine four four, which was pretty extreme as it was but this just makes it look crazy yeah. i kind of wish it looked more like this to be honest <laughs> cool. and one day something like this would be cool to build but no it's definitely and and that is the way it's going like yeah. people are because it's there's a lot more people out there now that are willing to do crazy fabrication mm. and stuff like so they're trying to achieve things that are basically only possible in drawings yeah what was that one in uh, SEMA that we saw? Was it the E? Was it the E30 that had been yeah, made? The, to the design. Yeah. That was based off of design, wasn't it? The actual yeah. car was built after yeah. uh, after someone had done that with it. Someone yeah. had done a render and they they built the car. So because we our kind of focus is generally on racing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. when, when you're kind of this car tuning culture, speed it's that kind of secondary. It's more about the oh, appearance. Yeah. Well, most of the cars have you such race a, them, yeah, you? a bizarre stance that. Mm. And I've been there myself. Um, I had a Nissan Silvia, and it, like it was almost as if it was like built to just look good. Yeah, and yeah, that yeah. was it. Yeah, because yeah. it did drive pretty rubbish, to be honest. <laughs> like, um, it was pretty nerve-wracking to drive, um, but it just 
I mean, air ride is sorting a lot of issues out. Like mm-hmm. Ones that you can adjust where the car sits. Mm-hmm. That obviously helps a lot, yeah. but <clears throat> that car was on an air lift suspension, but it doesn't allow you to drive with it aired up. It was basically to allow you to go over like leafs. <laughs> yeah. Like <clears throat> empty bottles of coke that someone had left on the ground. But yeah, I think a lot of them are just purely built on looks. Cool. Okay, uh, we're about to go into part two, but I believe we have a question from the audience. Where did the name Status Era come from? <laughs> The name Status Error came from, well, basically, I started it as a blog, um, and I didn't have a name for it, and I was just randomly surfing the interweb, Mm -hmm. and I went to a website that, I don't know why I went on this website. Was it on the dot web? (laughs) It was nothing, no, (laughs) nothing too bad, (laughs) but it literally just was a blank page that said Status Error on the corner, not in the URL bar, yeah. it was like on the page, mm-hmm. yeah. and I thought, that's a really terrible name, Yeah, let's use it. <laughs> <laughs> and the rest is history. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, with that, let's get into the U1 final uh, from Santa Pod, round four of the Formula G Championship. Our coverage brought to you by TTV Racing. Let's get into it now. Racing, sponsors of the Formula G Show. Welcome back to the Formula G Show. We're at the ultimate streetcar festival at Santa Pod Raceway, where the final U1 battle is underway, with the car-sharing Biddle Brothers once again vying for the top spot on the podium. And both Nick and Andy drove flawless and furious races albeit with their own signature styles. And though it was pretty close, Andrew takes it with a win on both sides of the track. First place, Andy, how do you feel? Oh, I'm absolutely ecstatic, man. It's been, a, it's been a long, hot day. The times have been consistent throughout the day and I'm just, uh, over the moon, over the moon. Congrats, Andy. Now it's time for the rear-wheel drive final four, and first up it's Adam Elder with his Zestino teammate Ryan Milton. And to talk us through the action, it's Formula G's own Prince Charming, Nigel Pope. Adam, Ryan, it's green! Ryan first to the barrel, Adam takes it on the launch though. In that second barrel now, both tight lines to feed the thread the needle through. Round that back tyre there in the U-shaped background, the rust lip tyres. Pretty close here, I think. Yes, it is into the cone. Not much in it, but it seems Adam's just got the edge on Ryan. Now into that second spin. Adam is so tight on that barrel, inches away. And first in the box, Adam, followed in by Ryan. But really nothing in it between them. Second run now, Ryan on the left, Adam on the right. We're staged and green. Both clean off the line, round the first barrel. Ryan seems to got Adam here. Yes, he's first into that second barrel. See how he handles, thread the needle through to the cone now. Both pretty much neck and neck, going through to the U section around the rusted tires. Into our spin round the chain. Looks like Adam's got it back now, really pulled it up into the 540. Adam's so tight around that barrel again. A little wider line there from Ryan. First in the box, Adam. Shortly behind by Ryan. Great racing, clean runs. So Adam's Zestino machine is fastest on both sides of the track. And he makes his way through to the final battle. While Ryan's best hope is P3. Back to Nigel. So left lane, Luke. Right lane, Craig, we're launching in yellow, 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 green! Luke first to the barrel, Craig, he hot on his tails. Looks pretty close now into the second barrel as we come and thread the needle through to the cone. So tight line from both drivers here and very, very close 
come into this section. I think Craig took the white line there, but it might help him pull away. Luke into the 541st. But Craig, you're not far behind. See what happens in the second round to pull that time back. And clean stops in the box. Second side now, Craig here on the left, Luke on the right. No strangers here to the quarterfinals. It's green! First barrel, Luke fast to that first barrel all day today. Second barrel tight from both. See how they go after the thread, the needle round the cone. And a U section round those rusted tires, tidy from both. Luke's been squeaky clean around that section of the track where the chain is all day. 5.40 nice and tight from both drivers. Luke's got the launch on him. Craigie not far behind. Both clean stops in the box. So we get ourselves a classic Adam v Luke final while Ryan and Craigie will give everything to join these two legends on the podium. Created on the same chassis, two very different beasts. One turbo, one supercharge. We're green! Tidy first barrel, good launch, long through to the second barrel. Pretty tight. Lines from both as they thread the needle and up through that first cone. I think Ryan slightly got the edge on Craig here first, of course, into the cone as they spin around the chain section, into the 540, super tight line there from Ryan. That's where the time has really been gained. And Craigie second in the box. Great racing, both. Okay, this is the battle for third place. Craigie left, Ryan launching on the right, first barrel, he gets to it. And clean both drivers round into the second barrel now, thread the needle through the rusted tyres and up to the cone section. I think Ryan slightly got the edge there. I think uh, Craig slightly lost his momentum on that turn. Round now to the chain section, seems to have got it back now, Craigie picked up for a bit of lost time. 540 section, really pulling in tight to really grab that time back. Great launch there, close into the box. Great racing drivers. So after two hard fought battles, Ryan takes P3. And now it's time for the main event. The rear wheel drive final, Adam Elder versus Luke Woodham. And to tell it like it is, it's Mr. Nigel Pope. Okay, your two best Jim Carla drivers in the whole world line up. Formula G and they're green. Both straight to the barrel there, no stops there into the second barrel, so tight, both drivers. You can really feel the air getting tense here. Right around the cones there, super tight. Fast launch, it's pretty close here. Yes it is, 540, let's see if there'll be a break between these two. Super tight line from both and a launch for the box, neck and neck. Can't call that. Wow. Two drivers, no strangers to this stage, and we're green. Luke takes it first to the barrel there, Adam's got the launch. Looks like it's neck and neck, but Adam taking a much wider line on that second barrel. Looks like Luke has definitely... Oh, he's coming in hot to the tyres. Oh, he's clipped it. That's a two second penalty. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that. The 360 around the cone, into the 540, meets the barrel first. Adam's not far behind to see if he can pull it back now. And a top in the box. Tidy tight. And a stop in the box from Adam. So a rare mistake there from the master. But despite the penalty, he still manages to edge the win. Luke Woodham, well done. Thank you. How have you found the course today? Uh, I turned up this morning and I was actually really disappointed. And now I absolutely love it. It's yeah. like, throughout practice, it's like, I thought it was too tight, but the guys at Fuel Toby have done a fantastic job of making this tight space work really well. 
and the race has been probably the closest we've ever had, I think. The top four were like hundredths of a second. So for me, it's fantastic. And each time, Fuel Toby's just stepping up the event, Formula G's going higher and higher. So driving, Adam's driving fantastic. He's always nipping at the hills. Um, he's a pain in the ass. Um, <laughs> love him to bits. So he's pushing the sport really well. So yeah, you can only get behind him and congratulate him. So yeah, all good. And that's it from Santa Pod. We'll see you next time for the final showdown of Formula G 2018 at Rockingham Raceway. Sponsors of the Formula G Show. Okay, so that was part two, the climax of round four. Uh, what a great episode that was. That was awesome, guys. Yeah, really cool. Cool. One yeah. of the best. Yeah. Oh, one of the best. Yeah, one, one of the best. best. <laughs> um, and we're really honoured to have with us on the live stream today, Mr. Craigie Houghton. There he is, sir. Hey. How are you? <laughs> hey, Craigie. How are you doing, guys? All right. Uh, I expected you to be in the gym. No. Not today. I'm in sunny York. <laughs> really? We came up north too. A long, long way up north we came. Yeah, yeah. Only four and a half hours. It was an awesome drive, sitting in traffic. So, yeah. yeah. Bit, bit jet lag now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so uh, we've just watched you in round four at USC of Formula G. How was that one for you? Oh, it was really good fun. Um, the track really suited my sort of driving style. Um, the car was amazing as well, uh, really good fun, um, and it was a, a bit of a leveller um, for, um, I, I guess, the setup of of mine really. Um, nice to have a crowd as well. I love doing anything where there's a sort of a larger amount of spectators because it just gives you a bit more of a buzz and you have got more adrenaline sort of going through you. I loved yeah. it. What is what what is the deal with your car? Because yours is the one car you can know that's on the track whether you're watching or not. There's a yeah. very <laughs> yeah. very distinctive sound. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's been supercharged and um, essentially it's a it's a bit of a project because there's nothing out on the market. Um, well, I don't think there ever has been anything out on the market that um, has been suitable for. Uh, the kind of driving that we do, so pretty much on and off the power all the time. You used to get a lot of issues with belts flying off, and um, so the boys at Scuzzle Motorsport and Dave Fab UK uh, essentially came up and, and worked together to fabricate a really cool kit. Um, it's still very much in development stage, which is why we're having all of the sort of niggly issue bits just to try and fine tune. Um, but performance-wise, it's singing amazingly. I'm running around 200 wheel horsepower. Um, some cool trickery from, from Scuzzle. So um, so far, I've not managed to break it, and that's usually it's, it's usually Craig tested because I break everything. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, nice one, Craigie. Cool. Take care, guys. See, See you guys. guys. See you yeah. later. Bye. You've got to learn how to. I've got to learn to hang up. <laughs> 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 it's just so hard to say goodbye. <laughs> Amazing. Um, okay. Um, have you heard the phrase, um, the alarm that wakes you up in the morning is really interesting to, to, to know about? <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. It just, just rolls off the tongue, yeah. doesn't it? I just made it when you made it up. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. I thought it'd be really interesting yeah. to <laughs> I've been preparing all day to say that as well. <laughs> it'd be really interesting to get this is a genuine insight into your lives. Right. Can you play us the alarm that wakes you up in the morning? Uh, yeah. I I, I actually have if, a definite if it's too one. personal. No, then mine's is pretty much the sound of a eleven month old baby <laughs> okay. and a we can four imagine year that. old boy. Okay. So. And my okay. wife, no. Okay. All <laughs> of them just I'm saying, uh, do you want to get up? I don't even need to set an alarm. This one's literally. This one's me. Oh, oh that's that lovely. Would make me it's sleep. nice. It's like, <laughs> actually. Oh, yeah. It's like a blanket of pillows just picking you up, you know, and carrying you to the shower. <laughs> that's, that's literally me. Yeah. That's really like chimes. I, I, I find that if the alarm's aggressive, it's not going to be a good day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so that's that suits yeah. me. 
Well, that's quite similar to mine, actually. What's, what's yours? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for that. Yeah. <coughs> this is tremendous. <laughs> <laughs> you need planning this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. Go on. I'm nice. not even going to ask you. Nice. What? So who goes on to YouTube to play this on for you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the <a> wife. <laughs> right, yeah. Everyone yeah. sits in the next <laughs> area. Matt, wake up. She, she, she goes... <laughs> Loaded on YouTube. She wears. That's yeah. excellent. They do like just chickens oh. and, and, and <laughs> animals <laughs> running through the bedroom, and she's in all the medieval gear. And That's amazing. It's, it's quite special. It says, yeah, it says a yeah. lot. But can you tell us in like uh, like in under a minute, break down a typical day? Because you guys are both not doing the nine to five. I'm guessing. No. What is a, like a typical day for you? Um, oh, awesome. man. Yeah. Get up about somewhere between five and six. Spend in the morning? Yeah. Okay. I wish I could get up in five or six at night. <clears throat> Spend some time with the family. Wife goes to work. Kids are usually just left in the house herself. On the road. A bowl of pedigree yeah. chum. <laughs> a little dish of water. They're usually fine by the time you get home. Yeah. I'm only kid by the way. Just in case Social thinks. services yeah. all the way around. <laughs> the kids are well looked after. <laughs> uh, I try and get here for about nine or ten. Do all my orders. Well, it can sometimes take like up to twelve really? when I open that's, the shop, or it can sometimes I'm still doing terrible it. Terrible problems. Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. It. Yeah, <laughs> so it'll be worse. Um, I, I would give it all up to sleep past five o'clock. <laughs> that is like pretty much. That's my life goal at the moment. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm in the shop from well, I'm in here until four o'clock. Then it's back home, back to family life. Yeah. Usually fire in a little social media post, then mm -hmm. have my dinner, in bed by eight. So what point? Again. What point in that day does the inspiration tend to most likely hit? Um, I find <coughs> if I'm, you know, if I'm a, if I'm busy packaging orders and I don't go near Facebook, then it's pretty much when I finish packaging orders. Like, yeah. see, as mm. soon as I go on Facebook, that just yeah. dra you think. I'm going to go on here, look for some sort of inspiration, and you end it up... It kills it. Yeah, mm. you, yeah. You know, you end up looking at what someone had for their dinner or <laughs> yeah. Yeah. someone's <laughs> problems in their life, and you yeah. think, that's really bringing me down. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I find that the, the more packages I've got to package, the yeah. more... Inspired. Uh, yeah, 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 that's what inspired me, because I think and people rich. are buying my stuff, so <laughs> yeah. I'm doing something right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, that's... Yeah. What about you, Daniel? Um, I'll go one of well a more interesting day because it's it's different for me. Um, the way, like for if I'm working a photography day, it typically will start super early in the morning. Uh, it's usually because I, I live up here in Scotland. It's usually flights around four a.m. to actually get anywhere <laughs> of any interest um, outside of Scotland. So it will be a very early start. Um, the whole time I kind of make notes on my phone. I have like. Um, uh, I always have a shot list for every gig, so everything I'm going towards, I'm always thinking about like how, what should I do, what should I try and achieve. Um, sitting on the plane, listening to podcasts because I find they relax me. Your own podcast, music. not my own. No, <laughs> so I famous. should do that, shouldn't I? You're like, oh Dan, you were so right. Like, like, oh, you're so brilliant. No, I don't do that. I listen to other people's stuff, but I listen to stuff that's got nothing to do with what I'm about to do. Okay. Um, and then yeah, typical day of of shooting usually around uh, like 9 a.m. and then you'll work till like six at a motorsport event. Uh, and then you have to edit everything because everything has to be delivered same day. Mm -hmm. So typically you, you will go to bed if you're lucky like 11 or 12 or whatever. And then, you know, usually because if it's a weekend, it's over two days. But when I'm home and editing, get up, edit, answer emails, chase up money, people pay me, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then go to bed again. <laughs> so that's typically, it's, yeah, it varies depending on. We've got a hard um, life. We have, yeah, it's very <laughs> difficult, yeah. <laughs> Wow. Very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why I have that lovely alarm to start the day. Yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask you, Daniel, mm -hmm. uh, if you could share with us, like, and I know the answer, this is too difficult when I phrase huh? it like this, your top three photos. And you'll probably say, they're not the top three photos. No, that's the problem. Yeah, because like, yeah. it, it is. I have, I have some props with me, which I'll okay. grab in a second. Yeah, um, and I have more than three, unfortunately, but I only I have five. Okay, because they have they have a story. Okay, so I wanted to try and Grab like a seat, guys. because my well my my lucky number is five. Uh, I you know okay. fifth, I was born fifth of the fifth, nineteen eighty five. That's okay. I roll on fives, man. Yeah. All right, so yeah. let me let me go grab them. Okay, and I, well, I'll talk you through them. Okay, and it'll make. 
Is he going to eat into my time, or is, <laughs> <laughs> is this? Oh, right. Okay, so this one. They're all framed. Oh, they are, they are, and there's a reason why they're framed as well. Uh, so they uh, don't get damaged. No, no, no. no. So, yeah. so this, one, the wall? this one here, you can have a look at that and see. So this, this has a big, this is a special memory to me because yeah. we had to produce uh, content for the reveal of uh, Liam Duran's Rallycross car. Yeah. And every year they get this special booklet made up with all the mint cars looking immaculate and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. And we turned up and we were like, let's be a bit different. Um, so we covered <laughs> the car in mud from his field. This beautiful, just finished, straight out of the workshop Rallycross car. Covered it in mud and then got one of the monster girls to spray it down. And that was the photo cool, in the, actually. yeah, it was That's the photo really in the cool. brochure. Would you so actually just with your hands just... Yeah, honestly, yeah, well, I mind. didn't, I, the mechanic, I <laughs> yeah. the, the mechanic, that was the thing, like, it was really bad, it was one of those, I was like, this is great, guys, but let's just cover it in mud, and they were like, they were all, like, gleaming, all looking smart, yeah. and they had to do that for me, but um, it came out looking amazing, and that was, like, one of the big posters. You know when you have an idea like that, do you find that you have to work hard to convince people? Oh, 100%. Yeah? Yeah, especially as that was brand spanking new. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That car was yeah. brand spanking new, yeah. and then I absolutely ruined it. Um, but yeah, it came out all right. But that was, that's like a first one I okay. wanted to share. Okay. Uh, I'll save that one for last. <laughs> you guys will like that one. Um, let me uh, put that one under there. Uh, so we have um, this one here. Are we good, James? Yeah. Cool. This one here. Oh, we know this one. You know yes, this one, yes. right? So this one, uh, it's just one of those things, like as a photographer, it's amazing when everything comes together. Yeah, um, yeah. That really is what that one is about. And it just shows that as much as there is, there's some sort of skill with pushing the buttons on the camera, <laughs> it was the fact that he lined up perfectly with the flamethrower that had been set up behind. Yeah. Uh, now that, that was, pod, that was right? Santa Pod, right? Yeah. Um, that was horrific weekend to work yeah. because it was wet, yeah. it was windy. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I was actually soaked through the bone. Um, I'd actually broken one of my lenses um, which I was pretty sad about as well so I was down to a different piece of kit here for this one and um, yeah it just all came together I was lined up and I thought I hope he'll come sliding across that and he, it was perfect I, th I think he didn't have much fun with the Hunicorn no, <laughs> no he didn't no. I didn't know I've seen this online many times but only is, seeing it this time, time, is he looking into the camera uh, I think he might be, yeah, I think he might be looking, yeah, he's looking straight towards me, yeah. And I didn't know the passenger, oh, passenger, right, right. yeah, passenger's looking oh, straight yeah. towards me. But it was one of those, <laughs> it was it was one of those lucky ones, but that to me is a special photo. Um, yeah. And yeah, it's just one of those, it just shows that it can all come together, yeah, even if cool. everything's not going great. Um, this one, another one, this one's of um, Luke. Luke Woodham. So this is kind of special to me in a way because... I've known Luke for a long time on, on his rise up through Battle Sprint and on towards Monster Energy sponsorship and Jim Carnegie and stuff. Yeah. Now this is the first event that Luke, we drove down to France to a Jim Carnegie Grid event when it used to be across Europe and yeah. we used to go yeah. all the different rounds. And um, Luke was there not to com not to do this kind of showy stuff, he was actually there to compete. And when he turned up, the driver that had been told that he was doing demos didn't show up. So Luke right. stepped up and it was a big moment because he kind of changed from like just a driver to like a showman and yeah, stuff, yeah. and I was really proud, like as as my yeah. friend. And he did this amazing thing where he was doing these donuts and then just pulled the wheel out of the window and yeah. carried on doing the donuts. And I got him just as he was sort of reappearing from the smoke and you know, holding the wheel. And it's kind of a bit of a yeah. bit of a special memory in that sense. Um, it's funny to see how many drivers emulate that now. Like, oh, hundred percent, hundred percent, when they win. It's so funny, but that was a big, yeah, that was a many, many years ago, but a great, like, great time. And also, the special thing as well is my brother uh, actually designed the, the, the layout of this car. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, he designed all the... This guy? No, no, not, not, no, 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 not my other brother behind, no, it's my <laughs> other brother behind, they have them too. <laughs> but he actually designed it, and it's kind of special in that way as well. So, yeah, real, cool. real cool memory of that one. Cool. Um, right. Now, do you remember when you guys got me on the podcast, uh, on your, um, yes, uh, on the show last time, and yep. I said I nearly got killed? Yes. That's the photo. Right. Yeah, that's okay. the photo I took. So that is an uncropped wide angle lens, uh, almost fisheye, uh, and that's how close he was to me. And I didn't even realise till after I'd taken the photo. Uh, so is that's it BDC? Just, no, that's, that that's somewhere in Greece where if I had oh, got okay. hit, I definitely would have died. There was like no hospitals anywhere. <laughs> no. Uh, it was in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah. is, this, is this competing or a demo? That was, that was competition. Wow. I was in competition. There's another car chasing him just off camera uh, who was on track. He's supposed to be on that side oh, of the yeah. white line. Yeah, <laughs> it's terrifying. Like, it's, it's, so it's a memory to me to not be an idiot, really. Uh, did you, uh, did you realise it at the time, though? No, no. I had no idea. Until, yeah. I had no idea until he got... How close he got to I, you. I was looking through and I thought, oh, that filled the frame. Like, that's like, I was like, well, that was, that was a lot. <laughs> that was close. And then and you I suddenly... the paint off your jeans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, that was a scary moment for me. So, the um, angle on that. Cool steer, one. The, the steering angle there. Oh. Is Nuts. Yeah. Is that grass or, that's or grass. sparks? That's grass. Right. Yeah, it's grass being kicked up. Yeah. It's your tripod. Yeah. <laughs> and then the last cool. one, which I think you boys might like, okay. is uh, 
The Monster oh. Girls. Oh. So, oh. <laughs> which you know. No, so, no. The, no. So I the reason, right. um, I mean, this was a, this was crazy. Um, I wasn't. I don't do portrait stuff very often. I, I don't say porn. Then. No, no, no. <laughs> no I, I offered once, but no, I've never done that. <laughs> but I did. Um, I, I was. This is from an event where basically they put about a hundred of these girls in a mansion. Uh, and you just have various photo shoots happening over a week period and this right. was one of the photo shoots was a pool party and it's just like one of those surreal <laughs> surreal <laughs> like situations where I was like what am I doing here um, but yeah a great like great memory basically I like uh, to crazy. imagine that you're sat behind the camera with some nice floral swimming shorts oh no mm. I was in I was in hoodie and jeans I think I was, well, I was pretty really? much as I am now yeah in this boiling hot swimming pool it was wearing um, some baggy pants yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so it's um, they're not they're old photos but to me they have some great memories mm -hmm. um, yeah. and they're still like technically none of them are perfect but they all have like I said a memory and it's just one of those that's what that's it's cool. important but um, but yeah they're framed because uh, if you if you I bought them so that you guys could have them if you wanted to have one of those really so maybe an office or home or whatever you are more than welcome to any of those Back to the monster girl. <laughs> <laughs> it seems but, like a fair trade yeah, <laughs> we, thought, we thought it was about this yeah it's you could just supply some frames and believe it <laughs> so yeah lo long-winded reply Matt but hopefully wow. that's uh, it's been worth it <laughs> thank you no worries you're welcome I was going to ask actually what's easier to photograph a uh, car bike or Monster Girl? Uh, mm. <laughs> Temperamental Monster Girl. <laughs> no, <laughs> the, uh, actually, the Monster Girls have been brilliant over the years, but the easiest for me is cars. Um, bikes is actually the hardest because they're so damn fast. Yeah, uh, yeah. That is absolutely insane. And they're so much smaller. As silly as it sounds, when you're looking through the camera, they're tiny. Yeah. Uh, but I've greatly enjoyed, like, sadly, that's, they're actually, there's nothing printed and I love printing stuff. There's nothing printed on my work for the last two years because I've been so busy. Right, and that yeah. makes me sad because yeah, yeah. some of my favourite stuff has been done in the last couple of years. Yeah, yeah. But I just haven't had like, time, time to do, time to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. How many of your photos do you go through and there's another photographer in the shot? Does that happen a lot? <laughs> uh, it does happen quite a bit. But it's. Um, I think the nature of what I do is I often have like the best access so people I tend to be the one in everyone else's shop right, that okay, tends yeah. to be the I yeah, think that's yeah. probably more yeah. like it's the best way around yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going to talk to Mike Newland very quickly awesome. and then uh, we're going to ask Gianni for some tips on uh, oh. wheeler dealing nice <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so <laughs> stick with us. Um, how are the numbers looking, Nigel? Uh, Nigel. They're looking. Uh, Alan's really been running the numbers. Yeah. yeah, they're really good. Uh, <laughs> I'm pleased. Yeah, yeah. Numbers but, are good. But we need to ask people to share this, don't okay, we? Okay, you ask them to share then. Please share this. So when I'm ru running the numbers next time, yeah, they'll they be you? much better than they were last time. <laughs> yeah. And that pleases me. Yeah. yeah. There we go. No. Yeah. I'm here. Here I am. I'm Mike. here. Mike, Hi, guys. How are you doing? Is it? There, there he is. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Yo, Mike. <laughs> hey, Mike. Mike, we're in Scotland. We're in Scotland. There's the Scotland. <laughs> Scotland. We're in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> and then we thought it'd be a good idea. Come and see Status Era and, and Daniel and, and, and just, just hang out. Uh, watch uh, episode four, which, uh, sorry, round four, which was at USC. Were you there? Uh... Yes, but also no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was there, but wasn't my best round. So no, no, I less said about really the better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, let's look forward to the future. You, sir, are one of the gladiators who are going to be entering the arena in South Africa in a few weeks. How's preparations going? Um... Preparation's good. I've just had my dinner, so yeah, that's similar. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Did you have South African cuisine and any, anything to, to kind of prepare you? Just chips and pizza. Uh, I went to Frankie and Benny's actually, so right. not really. Okay. Right, sort food at all, but okay. what are you gonna do? So no, no, like running or exercise, nor uh, you know, like just <laughs> no. no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't do running. No. no, unless something's chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> well, in South Africa, that could happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> so, just basically, like trying to psych out your opponents, wind them up on uh, on on Instagram and stuff like that. Mental games. Oh yeah, there's a lot of that going on. That happens with every round, and it's even more with um, Jim Carter Grid, and obviously 
Monster Energy and Jim Connor actively encourage it to happen quite a lot as well. So. Do, yeah, yeah, because it's very entertaining to watch. Um, oh yeah. So when are you when are you when are you leaving for South Africa then? Uh, I get on a plane on Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Okay. Okay, definitely Sunday, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, great preparation I'm if you miss the sure plane. <laughs> Um, uh, Mike, um, one of the reasons we got you on is because Alan's got another question for you. Is that is that all right? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> he looks terrified. <laughs> now, you know, Mike, every regular viewers of this will know I have a troublesome dog at home. <laughs> And we know you are the you are the you know you're the world's expert international dog trainer. Yeah, exactly. So this okay. is a, this is a this is a this is serious, isn't it? It's a serious. This is serious stuff. And this is because he charges. Oh right, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I get this for free. Charges, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bear with us, guys. We'll just get this dealt with, and we can carry on. That's Do you want right. me to go somewhere else and talk? Yeah. <laughs> Spit it out, then. Sorry, Mike. Anyway, yeah, we we, we digress now. My lovely little dog. <laughs> Stop thinking. I'm serious. It. Sorry. It, um, it keeps biting people. Okay. Um, anybody that comes to the gate of the house that, that happens to be male, he doesn't bite ladies or girls or kids. He just bite, bites guys. But then he'll bite them, run away, come back and be their best mate. So it's like the first... Second, he meets them, takes a chunk out of them, and then wants to be their best mate afterwards. You'd be surprised, actually, how common that is, um, especially given the type of dog got, basically, by biting them when he comes into the house. Yeah. He's basically saying that he's in charge, and he now has all the power to correct them if he deems it necessary. Right, okay. Is there a fix? Is it a long fix, quick fix? Or is that the way he's going to be? No, it is fixable, but you're not going to do it overnight. It's going to be a couple months, and you always know that I'll be happy to help. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. We'll let you get on with your we evening. Love Mike. Thanks, Mike. Bye. Bye. See you, man. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Oh, you got this. You got this now. You got the hang up. Yeah. A smooth no messing. Finally. Finally. Okay, right. Gianni, we're getting towards the end now. Um, I like cars as much as the next guy. I do. But nothing fills me with dread more than buying or selling a car. In fact, to the point where I don't think I've ever sold a car. I've used it for like a part exchange or I've just run it into the ground and took it to the scrapyard. I think mainly because I'm I just don't want that confrontation or mm. that kind of that kind of transaction of meeting people, people phoning up, tire kickers. What are your like you, I mean you buy and sell cars <laughs> like more often than I go to Sainsbury's. <laughs> more often than Nigel goes to Sainsbury's. <laughs> <laughs> Not what? professionally I don't. No, no, of course. <laughs> no, and that means that you actually must enjoy it. It's You're not doing it. It's like a hobby, like yeah. on the side. Yeah. yeah. So, what have you got? Any like tips? Do you know the one thing that I would say when you're selling a car? Yeah. Interior shots. There's okay. nothing boils my blood more than five hundred <laughs> photos yeah. of the outside of a car. Yeah, yeah. and one and of the inside. Or none. Yeah. In fact, a great example. I just purchased my MR2. I don't know if you've seen it. The bright yellow. We have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to say MR2. Okay. No other brands yeah. involved. And on the advert, there was plenty of outside shots, and I thought oh, this looks really good. So I'm hoping that sort of translate yeah. to the interior. Yeah. <laughs> and so I got there. I was so excited anyway at buying this car, but when I got it home, I realised that... A tramp had slept in it. No. Worse. <laughs> uh, two tramps had slept in it. Oh, two wow. seats, remember? Uh, no. So, items like the armrest had been spray-painted, like actual spray-paint. That's yeah. how they changed the colour. Yeah. Spray-painted yeah. centre console. Which is uh, like a leatherette. Yeah. Just a, yeah. It was mm. literally spray-paint over leather. Yeah. Um, they had, like, varnished the dashboard. Mm -hmm. Everything that they could spray paint yellow, they did. So the vents were yellow. <laughs> um, the 
cigarette lighter had been painted <laughs> yeah, yellow. Yeah. Um, everything was broken. And to be fair, I probably it wouldn't have like made her not made the de- the deal. Mm-hmm. Was it make or break? That's yeah. Deal break. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. the one. Yeah. Deal break. Um, but I still would have liked a nice interior shot. I yeah. see this too much. People yeah, yeah. need to do more interior shots. That's pretty much where you're going to be when you're yeah. driving. Yeah, yeah, it's like when you sell yeah. a house. And exactly. Just showing the outside. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is it. It's the outside of the house. Yeah. But in, in terms of like haggling, um, do you know what? I've only ever haggled that? once. Really? And it's when I was buying a car. Yeah. And yeah. Dan was with me. Yeah. Um, and I had just watched Wheeler Dealers. Yeah. He was, he was on a high. And yeah. I was. Yeah. I he seen Mike strong. Brewer doing it. Yeah. And I thought, I can, I can do, do that. that. Yeah. yeah. I remember. So <laughs> yeah. we, we went to see, um, it was a Mitsubishi Lancer. Yeah. Nice. Not an Evo, although it did slowly evolve. It did, yeah. yeah. It um, did, yeah. The hearse. So yeah, we yeah. <laughs> went to see it. And, you know, a, a, oh, a Mike Brewer, the guy, he he said, right, we're outside, aren't we? Yeah, we were outside. Yeah. Um, so he said, right, okay, let's do a deal. We'll go into the flat. So at this point, I was really hoping that Dan would come with me, yeah. but he took a phone I call. I took a phone call. Just a, a pretend phone yeah, call. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think so. <laughs> I went up to the flat. He's and by himself now. It, yeah. was, it was an empty flat. Right. <laughs> what? Like, it, it was strange. Like six guys, wasn't it? Yeah, there was yeah. about what? six yeah. like, big <laughs> European guys. Um, and there was just pedal bikes. Yeah. <laughs> it was really weird. And I was like, oh, I don't think I'm coming out this far. <laughs> I wish I hadn't went so Mike Brewer on this guy. <laughs> like, um, but no, it, it actually paid off. Mm. They were legit. Knocked a couple of hundred pounds off a deal yeah. and yeah. drove away. Yeah, because you're actually very good. Awesome. I, you don't really haggle. You see it and you're like, I'll take that. Like, I'm more yeah. of a, an internet kind of yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be like, yeah. face to face, I'll be like, yeah, no bother, no bother. Yeah. And then I go away and I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> you sold me this car and it's a shed. Like, keyboard never warrior. say it to their face. No, yeah, no, no. Exactly. <laughs> I am keyboard the ultimate warrior. keyboard warrior. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm the most violent guy online. <laughs> as long as there's a screen in front of me, uh, yeah. and, like you know, face to face, I'm like, what? It doesn't run. There's no wheels. That's cool. I'll cool. take it. Cool. You want cool. more money? <laughs> Here. <laughs> so, yeah. um, I don't think that's really any advice for no. anyone. <laughs> but, um, yeah, just it's worked out really well. So just, yeah, it? just buy it on the internet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. literally. Just the just yeah. Pay someone else to, to be you. Yeah. 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 And like sell your well, sell your car online, you know, be Mike Brewer online, but get someone else to actually meet them face to face. Okay, okay, that's it. That's cool. Or just trade okay. it. Yeah, yeah. Or I just run into use the, the likes yeah. of I. Uh, never. I've just actually got a warehouse full of old <laughs> cars because <laughs> I'm too scared to meet someone and physically sell it. I have built my whole business on the internet. Like I don't actually want to meet people. I was so nervous about you guys coming. <laughs> don't know what to do I've been up for like three weeks now <laughs> if I, ever since you sent the, the message um, saying you were coming I was like this is it it's surprising it's because time to meet you people. said yes and I thought maybe I have to ask you face to face then you'll say yes <laughs> ask your messenger hell no no do you know what I thought no one's coming up here. Yeah. Yeah. I'll yeah. see yes, just to be polite. You didn't realise it here. And I was like, they're coming up here. And you went, no. And I went, no, no, yeah, no, I no, genuinely yeah, thought yeah, we were doing this like, online. Yeah. And I'll like, be fine. Yeah. I was just like, no, they're coming. It's awesome. awesome. <laughs> My yeah. brother looks a bit like me. He's slightly more confident. So. Is he? Yeah. Fine, mm-hmm. doesn't look anything like me. No. <laughs> it's been awesome. Thanks, guys, for having us. <laughs> thank you for Thank you for thank watching you very much. and sharing. Very briefly, what's next for you, Dan? Uh, I'm actually on kind of off season now, so I'll be uh, weddings. Yeah, probably. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Uh, like a few uh, projects, hopefully around Glasgow, on more mm. portrait based stuff and more product photography, which is what I do kind of when I'm not doing the motorsport stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So all that kind of stuff. And you just brought out a new line. Mm-hmm. Yes. So um, loads of new stuff. And it is worryingly quick how things sell out. Yeah. Basically, I just buy two of them. Yeah, that's what I've been thinking. <laughs> so yeah. like, it always looks good, yeah. Like Dan buys them. Oh, well, yeah. I'll say, you know, like my mum and yeah. dad. So they go between them. So there's always one gone. Oh, right, it's yeah. my turn. So. 
<laughs> that is literally it. This has been uh, really informative. Mm. We've learned about buying and selling cars, how to run a, 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 yeah. a lifestyle business. Um, we've learned how to have a keen eye for art. Mm. And uh, it's been great value for us. Uh, yeah. Worth the trip. So um, <laughs> we might invite ourselves next year. Yeah. Yeah. Similar time Definitely. next year yeah. if, that's, if, you, if you're still talking to us. Well, we'll see how you did. Non-committal. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this has been Mission Control live from Status Era, and uh, we'll see you next month from an undisclosed location, un non-disclosed or undisclosed, undisclosed, undisclosed location. location yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Bye. 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 Was that recording? <laughs> <laughs>